I never pass up the opportunity to see a great storm. Keyword, see. If you think storm chasing in hilly terrain is bad, you should try a national forest. It's just like chasing in the plains, but different. On this episode, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, the Justin and Chris Cam. Yes! If you look through the windows, you'll see more than just us. On June 3rd, 2017, we had a great opportunity to chase storms in one of the hardest terrains in the country, the North Woods of Wisconsin. It was a 306 mile journey through heavy trees in the Nicolet National Forest. With wind shear less than 30 knots, surface base cape exceeding 3,000, you could probably describe this event in one word. Outflow. We departed around noon, and we stopped at Shano Lake just outside of Cecil for a short break. We located the northern extent of a surface warm front using Chris's Castrol. Hey there, this is Justin Poublon with WisconsinWX.com. Um, trying to show you uh, where we are right now. We're just a little bit outside of Crandon. And um, we'll zoom in on Chris. He's got the, the camera out and uh, he actually was doing some measurements on dew point and temperature. One of the things we constantly do is we monitor the, uh, the basically the composition of the lower atmosphere. Uh, he just told me the dew point was 62 here. Uh, one of the things that is not great about this area is there's not a whole lot of weather data, so we have to kind of provide our own. Dew points approach 65 degrees near Leona. Dew points around 57 degrees in Iron Mountain told us somewhere in between might be a good place to start. A severe storm developed north of the border in Upper Michigan. We monitored this storm and the multi-cell clusters that formed around it. Moving east would eventually lead us out of the forest and into better terrain. Yeah, just a few trees up in here. But we found a view, thanks to Chris's fabulous navigating. Our first stop was on a dead end road near Fence, Wisconsin. It took a few minutes to come into view, and we found the storm was already outflow dominant. It was a special moment for different reasons. Storm chasers, you know, if you're venturing up into the, the north woods of Wisconsin trying to find a tornado, good luck. Uh, <laughs> best of luck to you. We were listening to Hunter Anderson's live coverage of the storms over northeast Wisconsin, the same ones we were chasing. We had never attempted this before. I know Wisconsin and Chris, like I said before, are up in this area somewhere. In fact, they're probably between Cran and Iron Mountain right now. Um, they're probably near Goodman or Fence, if I were to guess, just looking at the satellite image here on, uh, on the maps. So We closely monitored dew point trends, a flat 62F, and other things suggested we would need to move further south. We let it come to us until Chris said it was time to go. Another storm chaser with hail guards was the last thing I expected to see. I don't always see a lot of storm chasers, but I never thought I'd see another one up here in the forest. But this is what we've been waiting for the entire time. Right. Like I feel like we could have left at 3 o'clock and still gotten to this point and fine. We encountered several weak downdrafts driving east on Highway 8. It wasn't an ideal situation, but by taking this option now, preserved the next half of our chase. I don't mind the, the sky behind us right now. That's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah. I see left to right motion. Probably just natural, outflow, but it's not like they're static. There's life behind these clouds. Really all I hope to avoid today <laughs> is downbursts in the middle of the forest. Occasionally, most of it's pretty mundane, but occasionally you'll see like one area where wind's just booking it and then it's calm like this. Washing machine out here. Tell you what, that road can't come soon enough, right? Highway 141 towards Crivets 
was a key road that we took south for the rest of the chase. It's almost like the storm caught up with the outflow. We stopped several times along Highway 141. The first time north of Wasaki. Views have not been good today. This was the best view we found along that highway segment. It wasn't good. Once we got past Beaver, we shot west along Highway 64. It was a great chance to take. Uh, give me something. When we stopped, there was plenty of landing and an exposed updraft base in the distance. It reminded me of a supercell for a moment. This is me recording a video for the Wisconsin Weather Facebook page. It seemed like everything was coming together. Cutting it, right, yeah, cutting it pretty close. When the sky turned to mush, we returned to Highway 141. It's really weird because there's inflow right there, but it's embedded in the rain. Okay, east and then south? Yeah. I like where this is going, I just don't know, you know, how it could ever sustain. I don't think it will. Oh, this is where this that cell is meeting up with it. Right there. That's that cell that we were going after, it's getting sucked up into the storm. We were gust fronted on the south side of Coleman, where we saw this beautiful whale's mouth. I started to feel like the chase was approaching a rather weak conclusion. To my surprise, and only after several hours of chasing through the forest, a beautiful shelf cloud began to emerge behind us, in relatively more open terrain. We exited onto an overpass by Lena for a time lapse. The shelf cloud stretched all the way across the sky. Green Bay was endgame for us. Outflow from west and north was converging on the city. We found the perfect spot near the airport southwest of the city just a mile away from the National Weather Service. Storm clusters converged and shelf clouds encompassed much of the sky. Slow storm motion meant we were able to position six cameras outside the vehicle including our cell phones. It was a special moment. This is me recording another Facebook video. We're actually in a pretty great spot right now. This is actually... Um, yeah, this is actually Austin, Austin Straubel Airport here off the left. And the National um, Weather Service Green Bay. Yep, and that's actually the National Weather Service Green Bay right there. 
Uh, this is really interesting right here. Um, I'd be maybe a little concerned in what, making sure that I am uh, paying attention to current warnings and information. Um, what we got here is this is the old outflow boundary dropping south from uh, northern storms. And this is the outflow shelf cloud coming from uh, basically cold front derived storms out to our west. And they're meeting right here. And that's just, I think that's just fantastic. Um, we're going to be watching this. We got like four or five cameras going on this piece right now. Um, it's really, this is really something special. Everything happened at once. Shelf clouds, peak structure, and sunset. Following the gust front, Chris pointed out a dust swirl moving across the horizon. And we filmed that too. June 3rd, 2017 would have been very frustrating and difficult without Chris's navigation. We learned that there are storm chasers with hail guards north of Highway 8. This was surprising. And we didn't see any deer, except maybe this one. So that's good. This chase was more about what we remembered. Despite the terrain, storm mode, equipment failures, and seemingly required amount of adversity, it was a successful storm chase. Following long drives in April and May with varying success, we remember what it was like to chase one close to home, how much more enjoyable it can be. We were finally able to provide great live content for our Facebook page, Wisconsin Weather, through a collaborative team effort. You like that? <laughs> With the first half of storm season in the books, I feel like my season is just getting started. It has me believing the best storms of the year might be just around the corner.